It is not an easy question how to deal with the financial and economic crisis. Unemployment and uncertainty about the future has led to widespread anti-government protests. What do leading experts think about the economic crisis? Will it continue for many years? What needs to be done? On May 22nd to 24th, the 6th Astana Economic Forum and the first World Anti-Crisis Conference were held in Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan. Astana is the political and administrative center in the middle of the Great Steppe and has swiftly grown into a vibrant new metropolis with world-class architectural wonders. This has all happened during the last 15 years and the city is still expanding. This is also true for the economy of Kazakhstan, however the danger of the global financial crisis can't be underestimated. Since the start of the Astana Economic Forum five years ago, the number of conference participants has rapidly increased. Delegates from all over the world gathered to hear and discuss the future. The conference was held with the support of the General Assembly of the United Nations. I expect that the Anti-Crisis Conference will play a significant role in charting a course towards a more balanced world economic and financial systems. I look forward to your deliberations and hope they will draw upon the purposes and principles of the UN Charter. You meet at a time of a continued global economic uncertainty widespread unemployment, growing inequalities, banking fragility, and the sovereign debt problems threaten the modest global economic recovery. Recent experience underscores the continuing need for coordinated action to reduce international financial market vol volatility and the risk of a future crisis. The economic downturn was the main subject of the discussions at the 6th Astana Economic Forum. Representatives from 132 countries were present and listened to professionals and experts on economics to collect prospective crisis recovery solutions. Especially in this forum, real and practical proposals will be developed for many countries. The most important thing is that the governments of these countries are willing to listen to these proposals so that they can be realized. Dear friends, the 21st century is progressing ever rapidly, compressing time and space. A new type of global economy is emerging, new principles of international relations are being established, as well as new values of social life. Therefore, today it is important to find the right solution for global problems. I sincerely wish to the participants of the forum and the delegates to the World Anti-Crisis Conference productive discussions and successful development of new recommendations. One of the main subjects was the Euro crisis and its negative effect on other nations. The weakness of the European economy is also considered a real danger for other flourishing nations. The Eurasian Economic Project is strategically a long-term economic project. To expect immediate results is unrealistic. This is because our three countries are not living in a vacuum, and when our key partners, for example the EU, are in crisis, we cannot and will not be able to remain untouched by the negative repercussions. We have already been deeply integrated into the global economy for a long time. 
An international community of thinkers, including many Nobel Prize laureates, addressed the continuing problems of the world crisis and offered solutions for the challenges facing the international community. I hope uh, people with some influence will come away with a message to prevent things from getting worse. Even better, of course, uh, would be if they can, if the environment will be such that we resume the old-time uh, growth rates. There's this famous quote, don't waste a crisis. Uh, use it to make good reforms, not bad ones. It's very hard to get 250 countries to agree on doing anything, but occasionally you do. As the world becomes multipolar, it becomes harder to solve problems instead of easier. And so what's going on here are people trying to find mechanisms to make it so that you can solve some of these kind of problems. As a scientist, um, I just know that science can provide solutions to some of the problems, definitely not to all problems. But even Nobel Prize winners are not unified about identifying solutions for the most affected Eurozone countries and promote some questionable positions. It was decided that the Euro would be regarded as one of the badges of, a, of a increasing the United Europe. But the, the, it was a mistake to decide that. And uh, so I'm, I'm a, a, a moderately enthusiastic supporter of the European Union, but uh, it doesn't follow that you need to have a common currency. I'm not saying that we should dismantle the euro completely, but maybe that's going to prove that it's the right policy. But what I want to see is an end to this isolated one country at a time approach. The debt crisis is certainly not a problem which can be solved overnight, and international experts are not sure how long it will last. I have to admit that five years ago uh, I, I made a prediction which was wrong, okay? So I look back, not into the future. I predicted five years ago that the uh, financial crisis would be a short-lived thing and, and, uh, and that uh, uh, we would bounce back uh, quickly after a year or so. The world is at a crossroads, and it is important to reflect about mistakes of the past and face global challenges with an awareness of our differences and diverse approaches to the crisis. In my opinion, uh, it's difficult to find one recipe uh, to overcome the crisis. Uh, I think the different situation now is in the um, European Union, in the United States, it looks better. The f uh, figures about the economy looks much better as one year ago. China has uh, different problems. Japan has different problems. So uh, we need two levels. Um, the first, we should solve the problems in the framework which we have, like European Union, for example. And then we should uh, look for some general answers how to avoid next crises using international institutions which are existing easier said than done. Each country must shoulder its share of the burden of adjustment and contribute to a more stable global financial system. If the policy does not change, the mistake, mistakes will repeat. You know. Now you have a totally different concept of how getting get out of the crisis from Germany and the other countries, you know, and um, there is nothing to do if, if, if you don't find a common compromise, uh, uh, Europe is paralyzed, you know, and you need uh, uh, to think to the long-lasting future, not to the election of the day after. The world powers are solving the problems of the banks and not solving the problems of the people. The sixth Astana Economic Forum did not only address the financial crisis, they encouraged a positive outlook on the future with the sustainable development of innovative technologies and the tourism industry. Future energy is also the suggested topic for the International Exposition Expo, which is scheduled to take place in Kazakhstan.
We all are like a country preparing to the upcoming uh, Expo 2017, which will be in Astana uh, very soon. And I think this is also kind of a uh, part of the Kazakh global responsibility to discuss the greening of our economies, so the responsibility of fighting uh, uh, climate change and uh, problems. We have to take into account the differences existing in Europe, in Asia, in Latin America, in Africa. That means knowing what the others are doing is, uh, is the best thing to go for best practice. For instance, here in the country in Kazakhstan, the move towards the green economy is absolutely impressive. Maybe we can learn from each other. The dialogue of leaders discussed the new economic landscape and the steps which need to be taken to ensure balanced global economic growth. It is a public think tank where leaders drew conclusions reached in the panel discussions. During three days, over 12,000 participants took part in the forum and the World Anti-Crisis Conference in more than 80 events. These conclusions will be summarized in a declaration and in guidelines for the World Anti-Crisis Plan to be submitted to the G20 and the UN for consideration. The next World Anti-Crisis Conference is already scheduled for May 2014. Данный проект, который мы разработаем и проект the project we are working on and the World Anti-Crisis Plan, which we will develop on our internet platforms with the participation of all the mentioned organizations and legal entities, will be proposed to the participants of the Second World Anti-Crisis Conference. The participants of the conference had the unique experience to discuss the global crisis in an international context and to listen to leading experts. They are also ambassadors of the message that we need each other's knowledge to overcome the crisis.